excommunicated from the Mormon Church Part 2. If you missed Part 1, go check it out. But at this point in the story, I have contacted the Mormon Church. I've let them know that I'm gay, and I don't want to be converted to straight or whatever. And now it's time for the trial. It's actually called a disciplinary court, and I was told I didn't have to be there if I didn't want to. But I decided that I wanted to be there because I wanted them to have to look me in the eyes when they did this to me. Super awkward. Super awkward because a lot of the men that were part of this disciplinary council, I knew from when I was a kid going to church. Like one of them was my youth group leader. I used to babysit for one of them. Um, another one has wife taught me to play the piano. And they're all saying hi to me as I'm waiting in the hallway, like, oh, hey, I haven't seen you in forever. How you been? Not knowing that I'm the one that's going to be on trial in just a minute. Now, if you don't know, I'm pretty snarky. I try to keep it in check, but it doesn't always work. So they sat down, they convened the court and um, said that I was here because I was accused of being a practicing homosexual. To which I replied, I, I don't think I'm practicing anymore. I think I'm up to like pro level. They didn't think that was funny. But they asked me so many invasive personal questions. When was the first time I'd had sex? How many times had I had sex? Had I had sex with anybody else in the church? Uh, and I wouldn't answer any of those questions because I told them it was not any of your business. They asked me if I had anything to say and I said yes. Um, I think that if you believe what you say you believe, there would be a place for people like me here, but there's not. Um, and you've caused me personally a lot of trauma in the way you treat gay people. And uh, you might want to just reconsider your approach so kids don't keep committing suicide. Then they sent me out of the room and deliberated. I'm not sure what it was to decide, but they came out 10 minutes later, walked right past me like I didn't even exist. And then the bishop pulled me into his office and told me I had been excommunicated. It means that I cannot pay tithing to the church, I can go to church, but I can't participate. My name has been stricken from the rolls as if I never existed. Wow. Christian love hurts like brand new shoes.